Or praise be to Allah on the favor of Islam. And if this was the only favor, only favor that Allah had bestowed mankind, it would have been enough. If Allah had given man no other favor besides the favor of Islam. Now imagine, what does that mean? That means a person, he's got no wealth. He's got no children, no wife. He's got no car. Further, he's got no health. He's got no hands, he's got no feet. He's got no legs. But he leaves this dunya with iman. In the scales of Allah, he is successful. And if he has the wealth, but he leaves this dunya without iman, without believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then he in the scales of Allah is unsuccessful. The Prophet wasallam gave an example of a person. This person was a person that Allah had given favor upon favor upon favor. The Prophet wasallam said nobody else was given dunyawi, materialistic favors like this person was given. Nobody. Can you imagine? And this guy had everything. You know, the riches that you can imagine. He was happy. He had beauty. Everything that you can imagine this person had. But the Prophet ﷺ said that he would have died on disbelief. And when he stands in front of Allah on the day of judgment, Allah will say, Enter him into the fire of Jahannam. Enter him into the hellfire for a moment. In, out, dip, out. And that's what they will do. The angels will take him to the fire. They will enter him into the fire and they will bring him out. And then he will be brought in front of Allah. And Allah will ask him, tell me, compared to that one moment in Jahannam, did you experience any moment of pleasure, luxury, in the dunya and he will say by you oh allah i experienced no luxury no pleasure in the dunya